The Western Cape has become the mass shooting capital of the country. In 2020, 164 people were killed in mass shootings across the province, and in 2021, 187 people died in such murders. Kailicha, Manenberg, and Delft are the leading areas for these crimes. I will say it, of course, mm. because I'm the last sibling remaining at the moment, mm -hmm. and I lost all my family in one day. This woman and her family are currently in hiding due to their fear of the shootings. Just a week ago, her three siblings were shot and killed in Kailicha. It was the latest mass shooting in the area. Since the start of 2022, Kailicha has experienced four mass shootings. We're not even scared, we're terrified. Yeah. And to be honest, we, we hopefully, we hopefully, it, we, we, we're not 100% sure yet, but we're gradually getting to the conclusion of leaving here. I would also advise each and anyone else who is willing and able and has got the courage to live a life and start a new life than living in a place like this, you know? Because mm -hmm. we are originally I'm from an over park. Okay. It's 20 times worse than this. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you one thing for nothing, I'm older than 13 years. Mm -hmm. I never saw something like this happen. Which means this place can now be, I would put it as in much more dangerous than staying even in Menemba with all the gang violence coming. Because I mean, it happened here, it could happen in anyone else's house. Just imagine you're watching TV, while you're watching TV, your neighbors are being gunned down. So we are not violent people at all. We don't communicate with violent people. We are not even associated with any dangerous people at all in any way. In the month of March alone, five people were killed in New Monwabisi. Six more people were shot dead in Nkanini. Then six people were killed in Taiwan in Tsai And one month later in May, members of the same family were killed in Ekupunleni. But Kailiche is not the only area seeing these mass shootings. In March, at least 10 people were killed in nearby Manenburg. Western Cape Police believe the shootings are linked to gang activity and extortion in particular. Now I want to speak to the community because there's something, something seriously wrong. Because the law-abiding citizens of the Kailicha cluster are suffering because of these criminal groupings. Criminal groupings that are fighting each other every day about money. Criminal uh, groupings <clears throat> who arm themselves and fight each other and in the process killing innocent people and also killing the opposing groups. And why are they fighting? Do you know why are they, they fighting? It's very, uh, it's very, it's actually very sad. They are fighting over the money of, of innocent people that are making the money in a, uh, in, on a legal, legal basis. Fighting for other people's money that they, they go and collect. Uh, do you think that they have a right to collect other people's money? No. It's what we call extortion. People, we must stand together and identify these people. Because they are the cause of this crime in this area. Those affected by the shootings say the fear is unbearable. There were people, there were, they come with a car then, they shot at people, who, they were in the shop. Then my brother, he was going to the shop to, to buy some cigarettes. Then he got shot at them. The time he go there, my brother was still alive, but the police, they told, they told them that they can go and look for the transport. But when they come back, the police, they, they refused to give them the body of my brother. Because they say they were waiting for the ambulance. We feel, we are, we're still traumatized. We're still, we're still traumatized. And it's so painful because he was not even involved into the gangsters. He never even, even the time he was young, he, he was not even a criminal. He was just a normal person. They always fail us as a community. Fail us, fail us, fail us. 
because even when we call the police they don't come actually on the same time they take their own time from that day passed away the the journalists they come the minister come the guitar was there from there we didn't hear anything about what they're gonna do they just catch those people who shoot toko this or what it's quite it's like that and most of the families are baffled by the shootings while community members have heard that the killings are linked to extortion few are willing to give details just from your personal experience i mean we've had in the past there were issues with um protection fees no? or gang citizen is it something that is happening in the community that is happening in the community yes it is yes it is happening we're, but as i'm saying we we are we are not very quick to wanting to only point to one dimension as a cause it could be a number of causes that that really that compounds the problem we are facing so we 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 are trying as a KDF to avoid a situation where we ourselves give it a name what causes it it can create a problem it can mislead so we'd rather not offer our opinions on this who are the people that's paying production fee somalians simple the lead that one is simple the somalians Remember that you see that's why I'm saying it's multiplicity of issues, boss. Most of what is known as father shops in the townships are overtaken by Somali people. So it would be if if the father shops are the one paying, then it means Somalians are paying. The extortion demands are, however, not just limited to spaza shops. Local residents who own small businesses are also targets. Bebezi kutuze la masomalia wabo pwando za wabali fumelele nga azo zote atela ni mwani za wabe fene sa tula sisi koke. Noti ke nga wabalo dobe si kasa wakani si langa zelea. Pata usuga kleyo indu ngene zinti nga wabandu utu mdo makashawli li tivi kwe nga pagati nzi. Nga wani ya sinkronda wanda wetu. Ez kailita we must reject indu yokushawli so wabandi mali wabe kwele basi nbe pange. We must reject in the Saudi so I give my Liaba Mama what in Sinia Miss Dindin by town too. We must reject in the Vendi Sagabanda was in the repairments condemning. For those left behind, it's hard to continue to call Kylie to home. So when we go somewhere, we so in so much fear, you need to look around of you all the time because we don't know who's going to be next. If this guy is still gonna come. Like we're sitting here, our brains are focused on that. Who's gonna walk in here and start that? That's how we feel at the moment.